So for today, we're going to be looking at the updated tier list for the season pass armor sets. We've had a few seasons pass by and I have updated the pool. This is going to be rough because I want to do them with the individual classes in mind. So that way you guys can actually understand where the tier lists go instead of just homogenizing all of the classes into one tier list. Because quite frankly, that's not how I roll. I know there's pieces in these that are way better than others. So that's why we're going to be doing Hunter, Titan, and the Warlock. And then at the end, we'll show you all of the tier lists. So that way you guys can see what I did for all the classes. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe, I really do appreciate it because a huge portion of people are actually not subscribed when they come to my channel. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe, really does help. Hit the bell notification if you guys want to keep up to date with my current content because I do think my content is worth it. Other than that, let's get into it. So here is the last tier list for the season pass armor set. And I'm going to be honest with you guys. Again, I, I don't actually hate a lot of my tier lists it's just the fact that like there's gonna be some you guys are gonna be like what well, this is completely different um not only are we adding some new season pass armor sets but i will also be changing the tier list because some some of the things that i'm gonna be talking about i really don't agree with so with the old tier list i should say so yeah let's just get into it so unfortunately i do not have them in order because um <sighs> That's how my tier list thing went out and I'm not going to rearrange them because I would have to rearrange them three times and I don't want to do that. So let's talk about the first one, Season of the Undying S tier. This is probably not going to change for all the classes. This is probably one of the best Hive theme or not Hive. This is probably one of the best Vex theme sets that we've gotten outside. Of, no, no, because each of the pieces are way better than the Vault of Glass pieces. Like each piece is specifically catered four vex themed pieces so i definitely think this is the best armor set when it comes to vex so the thing i said in the in the raid armor set video just ignore that because this is the best vex themed armor set for hunters specifically i think all of the pieces look amazing and i really don't want to explain it because i feel like the armor really speaks for itself so season the haunted i <clears throat> man right here i know some people might get mad about this helmet chest piece boots is literally what carries this armor set for me arms are pretty like i've used them before but they're not my favorite because they don't look like they're a part of this armor set because they look too thin compared to everything else and the cloak i think is pretty terrible so that is pretty much it for that one season of the haunted i don't want to explain further because this video is going to be super long if i go into depth with for each of the armor sets this one, I would put right here just because I utilize the chest piece a lot more than I should. And that's only the only piece I really end up using. I don't like the helmet. I think the arms are okay. I think the boots are okay. And the cloak is actually pretty cool, but I don't use it a lot. So I use this armor set a lot more than I use this armor set. This armor set is going to be right here. This should be no one's surprise considering how much I love um like a tactical look and this one's amazing the cloak is so fucking cool the helmet is really cool the chest piece is really cool the boots are really cool i think the arms the only thing that i don't like because they're asymmetrical but if they were symmetrical they would be dope as well so this one shouldn't surprise at anyone at all especially if you guys follow my content because tactical looks is one of my favorite sets i mention it all the time this armor set <clears throat> man this is gonna be rough <sighs> Um, I'll put it right here. Um, I use these pieces a lot more than I use this one. That being said, I use a lot of night, like, uh, like European night looks just because I like that look. So the chest piece, boots, arms is what I use a lot more. The helmet and the cloak, I don't use a lot. So this one definitely is a favorite of mine for nightly looks. All right. We get to our first ass slash S I'm putting this one here because it shaders really, really terribly. For most classes, Hunters actually would be right here um, because it doesn't have a lot of pieces that shaders really, really terribly. Um, actually, I really shouldn't even put it at S or S for anyone because it doesn't shader terribly. It just has an overglow, but this overglow is better because it's not on all of the armor. It's just on cloth, which Hunters, it's only on the cloak. Warlocks, it's for the chest piece and the Warlocks or Titans, I think it's on... Um, 
just the cloak and pieces of it, other other sets. So I actually use this piece quite or this set quite a lot. The arms, chest piece, boots, helmet. I think the cloak is the only thing I don't use a lot. So yeah, I would actually do this. I would actually do this. Actually, you know what? Like this. I use this set a lot. I use this a lot. This is not a I don't use this one a lot, but because of just how good it looks, that's why it's up here. Um Season of the Witch. Um I'm gonna put it at B. Uh yeah. I feel really comfortable putting it in at B. It's not that great. Uh, I think the arms are pretty terrible. I think the cloak is fucking trash. I think the helmet's trash. I think the chest piece is pretty cool. I think the boots are decent, mate. No, the boots aren't decent. The boots are... They're okay, I guess. But the chest piece is the only piece that I actually ended up using in a set that I liked. So, that's not surprising considering this is probably still going to stay here for most of the classes aside from... No, actually, probably the Warlock's going to be a little bit higher, but... I know this might piss some people off. This armor set right here. It's so good. I use a lot of these pieces. Ah, one of my favorite sets that I made is using the arms because they're so cool. Granted, I am really just banking this one off of the arms and the boots. Because the helmet, chest, and the helmet and chest are decent. The cloak is absolutely terrible. But the cloak, the helmet set that I made with it looks so cool. I just don't use it because I think it's an exotic that I, I don't use a lot. And the chest piece I think is not that great. So I am definitely use I'm definitely putting this one up here because A, it looks amazing aesthetically. It looks so cool. Um, this one shouldn't surprise anyone. I think it's the same tier as this one. It just looks amazing overall. But I also do use a lot of these pieces specifically for hunters. I've used the arms. The boots, the cloak, the helmet. I think the chest piece is the only piece I was like, oh, this is kind of terrible. Um, season of the or season of the worthy. Um, so yeah, not that great. I think the helmet's the only good piece from that whole set. Other than that, everything is fucking terrible. Uh, season of rivals. It's a little bit better than season of the worthy. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. For me. Um, I'll, you know what? I can't do that. I'll put it at B because the, honestly, it's the arms. I feel kind of terrible. The arms are really, really good. It's one of my favorite arms to combine with tactical sets, which is why it bumps up a little bit more. Don't get me wrong. This helmet is really cool, but I don't use it a lot. This one, I use the arms so many times, which is why it's getting going up one. This one right here. I use that for, I use a lot of these pieces, but specifically the cloak and the chest piece is what I end up using a lot for a lot of pieces. The cloak you can utilize for a lot of pieces, but the hum, the chest piece, I util utilize it for a fallen theme, which is one of my favorite fallen theme sets. So yeah, I'm put it, placing it at A specifically because of two pieces and you can't even tell me anything because this is my tier list. This one, oh, shit, shit. Oh no, I'm gonna, okay, I'm gonna put it at A. I feel like S really needs to be amazing all around. This one is not amazing all around. It's just the cloak is so good. The chest piece is really good. And that's really it. Actually, I think the boots are pretty cool too. It's just the fucking thing on the left side. I'm not the fan of, I'm not the biggest fan of, but yeah, there's so many good pieces here. It's just that not all of it is great. Uh, the cloak is like one of my favorite cloaks in the game for a Japanese look, which is why I place it so high. This one, oh man, this is going to hurt. No, fuck, fuck. Mm. I'll place it next to the season of the hunt because, uh, it's the same thing. I'm combine. I'm placing it here because of two pieces. The the actually I should be no yeah the arms and the boots. Uh, I'm not the f biggest fan of everything else, but the boots and the arms I use a lot. Like I mean a lot a lot. The boots specifically I go for a fallen thing and I combine it with the chest piece for this one. So this one and this one, they look amazing. So that's why I'm placing this here. And if I'm being honest, this should be in front of B because I just use the chest piece for this one. 
and as cool as it looks that's the only piece i really end up using season of the lost ah oh, shit um you know what i'm i feel com completely comfortable putting this one right here um i only use the cloak for this one i think all the other pieces are just not that great uh specifically for hunters so i feel pretty comfortable putting that one there this one oh shit i will put this one up here so i put that one up there because specifically i end up using the cloak and the boots a lot for tactical sets and that is really it the helmet i'm not the biggest fan of the chest piece and the arms also not the biggest fan of although the arms i do use for tactical sets as well but it's pretty rare for me to do that but this is my tier list for hunters let me know what you guys think i definitely think some people are going to get mad about this tier list but at the same time remember this is my own opinion this is why like my taste in armor and i know some people are going to be like you only put this one up here because of two pieces but like there's this one and this one and this one and this one that have two pieces as well the thing is that is completely correct so i should put this one right here <laughs> like it's it has like the s tier really just has to be like the like good all around and which is the t like the case for these like i think all of these have like all of them are really cool none of them are bad these i'm like yeah the cloak bad the arms and helmet bad arms and helmet and ch and boots and i can keep going so let me know what you guys think about this tier list for hunters as for titans let's actually get into that real quick so titans uh this is still gonna be there uh where are you this is still gonna be there actually it's probably gonna be right here because that one i use a lot of the pieces like specifically um this one up here as well uh like right here actually because i do use a lot of those pieces as well and uh, let's get into this one so this one i will actually put um uh, oh shit I'll put it A because I do use a, Ooh, you know what, you know, no, no, I'll put it A just because I do use the boots, the chest piece, the mark and the helmet a lot, but I don't use the arms. I think the arms are pretty terrible, at least for women. I don't know how males look, but for women's, the arms look terrible. This one, I'm trying to remember if i like any of the pieces i'll put it at b because i do like the chest piece the arms and the mark the boots i'm not the biggest fan of and the helmet i don't like at all this one i'm gonna put it at c i'm not the biggest fan of this armor like i don't use a lot of it at all like i don't use actually actually i don't use it at all that's crazy um i'm just not the fan of the the stones that don't change color for hunters we don't have that much titans you guys got a lot and warlocks you guys got a lot too so yeah that's very unfortunate uh for this armor it's not gonna be s tier definitely not gonna be s tier it's gonna be b tier um i do use quite a few of these pieces um i just can't in good conscience put this in like a or above because i only use the helmet and the arms on certain sets and they do look cool but every everything else just i'm not the biggest fan of this one uh c tier don't use any of those pieces granted you know what i'm gonna bump it up a little because i like the cloak a lot and i think the boots are cool but the chest piece arm and helmet are are terrible even though the helmet i've used in like a few sets i still think it looks terrible this one um uh, i gonna put it right here i was gonna put it i was gonna put it here but the helmet takes off colors which is pretty terrible the bond uh not bond the mark i like a lot it's just the front plate has a lot of eyes the boots the chest piece and the arms are really what carries this armor set for me so i will actually leave it here i will leave it here because this one uses a lot more pieces this one um ass uh i don't like any of the pieces like any of the piece you know i like the mark so it's gonna go up a little bit uh this one i don't like any of the mm no i don't like any of the pieces for this one i don't like the arms i don't like the helmet i don't like the chest piece i don't like... chest piece i actually do like i don't use it a lot though so i will bump it up because i do like the chest piece more than the helmet this one i will bump up to here 
No, I'm a, I'm, it's going to be front for B because I do like that it's Cabal themed. I just don't like the pieces they chose. Like the helmet's pretty cool. I think the chest piece is pretty cool. The arms are too like too heavy on one side. The boots are decent and I think the mark is cool. I just never use it. Um ah, shit. Um I'm going to put this one here. It hurts to put this one cuz I really really love that mark, but as a whole armor set, I'm not a fan of it and I only use one piece. So if I'm being honest, I should put it up here because I, I at least use one. No, no, that doesn't count because it should be like this. Because at least these three, these three, I like one piece. It's just this one. I use it for a specific look that I like. This one, ass. I fucking hate this armor for Titans. It's terrible. There is no good set for or no good piece for this. This one, however, I would put it at A tier. Um, I like a lot of these pieces. I like the helmet. I like the Arm? No, chest piece. I like. I love the chest piece for this one. I don't remember the arms, which is not a good sign. Um, the mark is pretty cool, and the boots are pretty cool. But for me, it's the helmet and the chest piece that really carry this armor set for me. And then for this one, I'll put it right here as well, just because the boots are really, really cool. The the mark is pretty cool as well. I think the chest piece is pretty cool. The arms, I think, are way too heavy on one side, and the helmet I'm not a big fan of. The only problem is that it shaders really terribly, but I work around that. So, if anything, I would put it right here because it really... Re when I say it shaders really terribly, I mean it really, really shaders really terribly. So, it would be right here, A slash ass, I would say. So, Titans, let me know what you guys think about this tier list. I really like this tier list a lot. It's a little funny, though, because, like... It's a little empty up here compared to the <laughs> compared to the hunters, but I stand by this list. And then last but not least, warlocks. Let's go through the, some of the things that will not be changing for you guys. So these two are still going to be up there. I think those two are just these two are just amazing. These are the like these are these are these this, the, ugh, these armor sets is what season pass armor sets should be. They should strive to be this good. So this one's going to be A. I think the helmet is really cool. I think the chest piece is decent. I think the arms are really cool. I think the boots are terrible. And I think the bond is pretty cool. This one also right here. I think the helmet is dope. I think the chest piece is dope. I think the arms are okay. I think the boots are really cool. And the bond is pretty cool if I remember correctly. This one, I would put it fucking B, bro. Like, I think the, ch the helmet is really cool. But that's all there is. Oh, no, 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 no. The the arms. I forgot about the arms. Um, I actually like the, the bond as well. So I think it's just the chest piece and the boots that are like lacking, which is why this will be like, you know, it'll be beginning B. Like, I want to put it at A. But I don't think the bond is that good that it'll bump it up here. This armor set is actually really cool. Um, I like it a lot. Uh, it's just that the gems don't change color. And I know I gave that shit for the Titans. But the Warlocks, the chest piece is actually really cool. And that's it. I think that chess piece is the only thing that really carries this armor set for me. Because I hate the helmet. It reminds me of Eldari from 40k. Which I fucking hate their armor. Um, I think the boot, the arms are way too heavy. I think the bonds whatever. I don't even remember the boots for the Warlocks. So... That's not a good sign either. This armor set, I would put at B. Um, it's cool. I like it. I just don't use this set a lot. Like, I don't use the helmet a lot. I don't use the chest piece a lot. I think the boots are probably the best piece from this whole set. Arms, I hate them kind of. <laughs> and the bond, I'm not the biggest fan of either. This one will go here. I like the chest piece. I like the helmet. Um, I like the boots. The arms are the only thing that I think look terrible, and I think the bond looks pretty cool. This one, easily S tier, dog. This armor set is amazing for Warlocks, bro. Helmet super dope, chest piece is super dope, boots are super dope, bond is super dope. No, not the bond. The bond is the only terrible part, but the arms are super dope. That's what I meant. Yeah, overall, Warlocks, you guys won with this armor set. Easily, easily. I, can't, I didn't even have to think about this one. This armor set... I would put, I would put right here, just because not only is the helmet really really cool, 
but I also really like the chess piece for like, like a not a soldier, but like a general type thing. It's going to be really cool for that. But if you're not into that, then I can see why you would be like, whatever is on it. The arms are terrible. I think the boots are kind of okay. And then the bond, unfortunately, doesn't change color. For this armor set, I'm going to be honest with you guys. It is pretty fucking trash. I know that, I don't know if this will piss people off. I'll you know what? I'll put it at C because I do use the arms because it has a really cool glow on it. Other than that, I hate this this armor set for the warlocks. I think it's fucking trash. Same thing for this one. Oh wait. Where where you there, right here. This armor is fucking trash. Unfortunately, and this is all like a, a warlock only problem that they ended up getting, but the any bone that you see in this armor set does not change color. So a lot of pieces in this, the helmet, arms, chest piece, boots, bond, everything does not change color. And when I say change color, specifically bones, anything that has a bone does not change color, which is very unfortunate because if it did, it actually would have really good pieces for hive theme sets. Um, this one trash absolutely trash i don't use any of these pieces uh you know what never mind i use the boots the boots i do end up using quite a bit and the arms as well other than that everything is trash helmet trash chest piece trash bond trash yeah no i <laughs> yeah i stand by that uh for okay so this is gonna be rough splicer Ooh, Splicer indeed, right here for for Warlocks, yes. The only piece that I think is terrible is the helmet, and even then, some people have done some cool shit with it. I personally just don't really like it, but the arms, chest piece, boots, bond, bro, all of that is fire. I definitely think this is one of the better Season Pass armor sets that we've gotten for Warlocks, and this one as well. Uh, This one... This is going to be rough, dude. This is going to be rough because, uh, ooh, um, I'm going to put it in front of a, I really want to put it at S tier because not only is the chest piece cool, not only are the arms cool, not only is that bond cool, not only is the helmet cool, but it's yeah, obviously I really like a lot of these pieces. I think the boots are the only thing where I'm like, these are kind of boring. Um, Helmet, I like a lot. That being said, I will understand if people don't like it um, because they're like the back thing, the back like horns. I'm not the biggest fan of that. If it was just the helmet, I think that would have been cool. But yeah, I definitely want to put it at S, but because of the boots and the helmet, I'm not. Because the bond, I honestly, it's not. I, I'll put it in front of A and then feel uh, like kind of feel around how, how I whatever. So last but not least, we have Season of the Risen, and this one, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put right here, dog. Um, like, I don't use this armor set at all. You know what? I do use the boots, so it being here is probably good because I do use the boots. The boots are really, really cool. Chest piece I've used a bit as well. Arms asymmetrical as fuck. Bond is pretty decent, so like I feel comfortable putting it here. Um, but no, like I wouldn't be opposed to put it in here as well because I do use, use it a lot, but not enough to put it at B. So Warlocks, let me know what you guys think. All the classes, let me know what you guys think about the tier list. I find this so funny because like the tier list looks so dramatically different aside from the two season of the undying and season of dawn armor sets. It's just like so many armor sets are going up and down and like. The fact that it's just funny to me. Let me know what you guys think, of course, because I really want to have a talk about this because I know some people are going to be like, these are wild takes. But I definitely don't think that because I, I, I feel like I explained my thought process pretty perfectly. So let me know what you guys think. I appreciate y'all. Be safe. I'll see you guys later.